What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today we are doing another episode of WWE Predictions, but it's a different type. We're gonna do our own draft. I'm with my friend Tristan. He, he's starting up his YouTube channel soon, so subscribe. Link is in the description. I, if, if you send me the link, like because like, you haven't actually sent it yet, <laughs> but um, the link to his channel will be in the description. Videos will be up there soon. Yeah, make sure to check him out. So what we're doing, like I said before, is we are doing our own draft. One of us will be Raw and one of us will be SmackDown, determined by coin toss. Raw already has Dean Ambrose and Rusev, and SmackDown already has The Miz. And so SmackDown is going to get to create their own world title and choose whoever they want to be that world champion. And uh, New Day and Charlotte cannot be drafted. They'll be floating between both brands because the women's title and the tag title will be defended on both brands. But then Raw has exclusive belts and SmackDown has exclusive belts with those champions being exclusive to those brands. Did I explain it well? Very well. Okay, yeah. thank you. We'll do the coin toss. All right, right, right. You got... I'll be coffee pot. Coffee pot or not? Pot or not? <laughs> oh, it rhymes. I'm just gonna do this and see where it lands. Not. Ooh, okay, so, so it's your choice. I'm going to choose. Um, I'm going to choose SmackDown. Really? I'm Interesting choice. I'm going to choose SmackDown. But you go with Raw. Yeah, you're going to go with Raw, obviously. Well, that's oh, the only one. Yeah. Left. Uh, and since I got to choose, you know what? You can have the first pick. Go Such ahead, a man. Guy. Go ahead, man. Okay, cool. first choice. Go ahead, tell us. Okay, so I think definitely the first try. The first choice for Raw has to be the Beast Brock oh, Lesnar. God, I forgot about him. <laughs> I think, oh my God. I think Brock definitely needs to be the first choice for me because even though it's controversial how he beat Undertaker and everything and everyone's yeah. upset about how the streak, to me, he's Jeez, just the best physical him. specimen in the company and I absolutely oh. love Brock Lesnar. It's just watching him's great. Yeah, the part-time thing doesn't work, but Brock Lesnar's a beast. He has to be my number one choice. And by the way, we have 15 picks. So you have chosen Brock Lesnar and as much as people aren't going to like this, I'm actually going to choose Cena. Now, a lot of people don't like Cena. Hey, I, I know, people don't like Cena, he's not liked at all. Say what you want about him, he had some of the best matches of 2015 with the Open Challenge. And um, he's, he's a big draw. He sells merchandise, I'll get money. I'm gonna get the attendance, so. Particularly the match against Sami Zayn, that was a good match. Before Sami Zayn, Zayn was a good match. Injured, that was a good match. For my second pick, normally I would like to go for like a high flyer, because you know how I love my high flyers. Yeah. But I'm gonna go for another absolute beast, and that is Seth Rollins. Oh, that was my pick! Ah, oh, don't worry, don't <laughs> worry. I, 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 I got my pick. I got my next pick. I knew you were going to say that one, so okay. I just had to get Seth Rollins yeah. in there. Yeah. Because oh, you know how God. much I love Seth Rollins. Yes, I wanted him to win the World Heavyweight Championship from Roman Reigns, and he did. But oh, unfortunately, the camera's gonna fall, man. your guy Dean Ambrose took it from him. Yeah. But Seth Rollins is a beast. He's one of the best wrestlers in the company. And I'm sorry that I need to keep adjusting the camera, guys. No but okay, I think that Seth Rollins will follow in the path of like many future like Hall of Famers. So go with him. Now my next pick, it's on the shirt. The phenomenal one, AJ Styles, to continue his feud with John Cena. Yeah, he's gonna come to my role today. He's arguably <coughs> one of the best wrestlers in the world right now. They and definitely, they yeah, they don't want none. And you know what? Raw don't get none. He's in my roster. Ooh. Okay, so for my third choice, I'm going to choose someone who I think, and this is a very debatable topic, okay. I think has the third, the probably one of the best finishers in the company. Oh. And oh, I know who it is. It's gonna be my pick again. No, I'm not sure though. Kevin. Are oh, you bitch? That was my pick! Kevin fucking Owens. That was gonna be my pick! Kevin Owens is 100% oh, my third you. choice. Oh, I think I he's an absolute so beast, and the way that the company does him as one of the top heels of the company, he just, he's just, he's just absolutely awesome. I love Kevin that Owens. Was I love to my watch him. Pick. I love. I hate I'll you. Just, oh, I just love the character. I love how the WWE's gone with him and how he's such a great wrestler at the same time. So, bitch is man. You know what? My guy is not my guy, he is the guy. <laughs> I'm taking Roman Reigns. Uh, again, say, <laughs> say what you want about him, uh, but he's, um, he draws. And again, he's put up some good matches. So he draws, that's why they took the championship from him, because he wasn't getting <laughs> well, enough, he was, he was wasn't just, he got, getting he enough got, ratings they, at the house He found him violating the, the house shows. policy. Yes, he's violating policies, the house shows. Okay, okay, you know what, stop. Good choice, Thomas. Okay, Roman Reigns is coming to my roster because 
So he's a good choice. He's a main eventer. You need you need main eventers, or your roster will not look credible. It won't look good because you can't just have seen an AJ Styles in a two year long feud. As much, okay. I, I like that, but still. <clears throat> now we're getting a bit tricky. If you um, take another one of mine, I'm gonna kill you. I don't think I will because you're not too keen on the guy I'm thinking of. Okay. I've my mind kind of blanked on the main guys I want on the roster. I bet you're gonna pick Kalisto. No, not Kalisto. Oh, you're not. I do like Kalisto. Kalisto. I, but I'm, I'm gonna go for like Kalisto. my Mister Person who defies gravity. Oh. I'm going for Neville. The man that Because I absolutely forgot. love Neville. I, I plan on choosing Neville, but not this early. But the, the way that Fair WWE enough. has Fair booked enough. him hasn't been the best since he's come up, but he's had a few rivalries. He had a few. Yeah. He had a great match against Seth Rollins when he had a chance Cena, to win the as championship. Met, as as so mentioned before, he had a great match He's had Cena. some great matches. I just think he's a future star, future like yeah. WWE, future world heavyweight championship. I think he's absolutely awesome. And his finisher, like. His finisher is ridiculous. It's the be probably the best high flying right, finisher. Actually, I do like AJ Styles, but yeah, Neville was absolutely. Ill. You can choose the man that gravity forgot, but I'll choose a superhero in my own right. That is the Swiss Superman uh -huh. Cesaro. Damn, He's coming to Smack SmackDown. Uh -huh. um, he can put up some great matches with the likes of AJ Styles because we still haven't seen that match yet, yeah. and that could be good. And yeah, he can go towards the IC title, the World Heavyweight title. He's over enough and popular enough for either of them. And he's good enough for either of them. And WWE should treat him better because he really, deserve, he really deserves agree. it. Are we allowed NXT picks? You are allowed NXT picks. Well, I'm about to piss you off. Nah, you're gonna choose Because mine. I'm about to choose the demon. Oh. Finn. Balor. Finn Balor. That is a great choice. I give you that. I honestly don't even think I need to speak about Finn Balor. Everyone has seen the talent of Finn he's Balor. Amazing. Just the former NXT Championship. Just people, people say he's oh. over. People say that he's overrated, but I think he's underrated. He's underrated. In all honesty. So uh, my last pick was the King of Swing, and I'm going to be picking another King. And no, it's not King Sheamus. It's the King of Strong Style. Another NXT Shinsuke Nakamura who, in my opinion, has the best match so far this year of Shinsuke Nakamura versus Sami Zayn. Such an amazing match. Um, it was so good. You, have you watched that yet? Yeah. Yeah. What did you think of it? I thought it was a brilliant match. It like, was a great match. We watched some of the match together. We just went through the highlights and just... Like, you could actually see in like, all of the punches, all the kicks, just like the fierceness of it. As you said, like he's a very stiff yeah. wrestler. Like, it's the stiff style of wrestling. And it would honestly look like you would hurt, like, it would hurt if you're his opponent. Yeah, yeah. And Tino springs to mind. <laughs> Brie Bella, you know, that's another pick mm. right there. Ooh, ooh, I'm gonna take a little bit of an interesting choice here and go with something different. Okay. I'm gonna go for a tag team, the first tag oh, team. Oh no, if you choose my tag team. And as we can't choose the New Day, love the, yeah. love the New Day. I love them. It's a New Day, yes. As we know, New Day sucks. Um, I was gonna choose a tag I'm team. I'm gonna go for Enzo and Cass. Oh, okay. That's I think not, I'll leave okay. you for the okay. one I think you're gonna go yeah, with. I, yeah. I'm gonna go with Enzo and Cass. He knows I'm I love Enzo like, and Cass. I love them. I just think they're a great tag team, just like coming they up are. from NXT. And I really hope the WWE doesn't mess it up by splitting them apart and having Cass go as like the big strong man, like the new world heavyweight championship. Like, your choice. Okay, so yes, joining his friend, AJ Styles, it's the club to my roster. Okay. SmackDown. Uh, of course, Carl Anderson and Doc Gallows, two very good talents from Japan. Yeah, definitely. Uh, glad that Luke Gallows is getting a chance again because he deserves it. Okay, um, a person who struggled in the company personally, I think he's only reached like the pinnacle, like the top of the company one mine. or two times. It's, don't worry, you don't like this guy. He's completely done with the company. Oh, I know who it is. I'm gonna go with someone like a veteran who I've always, always loved. Like the, the, king, who it is. the king of the super kicks. Like, I know who it is. I'm gonna go with Dolph the show Ziggler. Off. The show Nick off. Nemeth. Nikki from the Spirit Squad. I have to go with Ziggler, honestly. I, I always used to love Ziggler, but now I'm get, get, kind of getting sick of like his angle, how he's just yeah. being buried by everyone, but. I feel you. Fair play. What well, here's someone that it seems as if you've forgotten about. Fandango. Well, how did you know? <laughs> no, it's Sammy freaking Zayn. Oh, shit. He is my choice. Yeah. Is me joining his opponent, of course, the best match of the year so far, Shinsuke Nakamura. And I think Sami Zayn is going to be a good part of the roster. Yeah. Um, New Day's I'm going to go for someone who is struggling as a okay he's not struggling as a character his character is one of the best like transformations that wwe have ever done i know who it is i'm gonna go with bray wyatt bray wyatt bray wyatt and absolutely you know what, do you want to take you, do you want to take all four of the wyatt family oh yeah i'll, I'll take the that. wyatt family i'll let you do that i'll let you do that i'm happy with that no honestly bray wyatt and the wyatt family i love them as a unit they're so like effective and bray 
the, the thing is with Ray, like he's he's like captivating when he's speaking to you. He actually captivates the audience and like just gets them all interested in things. And I like yeah. the whole New Day angle at the moment, how they're kind of taking like a comedic side and even Bray Wyatt's like responding to that like quite well. Next pick is very debatable. And you may be surprised by this. Missing I'm going with Sasha Banks. I'm gonna go yeah. with Sasha Banks, because you know what? Usually most people wouldn't pick a diva or a women's wrestler yeah. actually now this early, but Sasha Banks is that good. She is amazing. She is one of the most over people in the company. And that's telling you a lot about how many people like her. Like, if you compare the reactions she gets to the other divas, She's at the top, like near the top, like with the male wrestlers, you know? Yeah, no, she I gets agree. amazing reactions, she's amazing in the ring, and she's got a lot of years ahead of her. She's only like 23 years old, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Ninth pick for you, what is it? So, it gonna be? ninth pick, I'm gonna follow you in the trend of the divas. Women's and wrestlers. Sorry, my apologies, <laughs> yeah, yeah. my apologies everyone. Wow. They are women, wow. I understand, wow. I understand. It's a slow it's fine. transition. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go with Becky Lynch. That was my next diva. I know. Was my next pick was my next diva. The last kicker. I love Becky Lynch. It's just, just awesome for a diva. So underutilized. So underutilized. My next pick is going to be behind Roman Reigns, the best Samoan in the company. That's right, it's Jey Uso. No, I'm joking. It's Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe uh, will be coming okay. to my roster. Yes, indeed. Uh, NXT champion at the moment, of course. I think it could be a good addition to the roster. I thought you were going to go with Tamina. Joe. Tamina. <laughs> Ta Tamina. Me. No. Okay. okay, so I'm going to go for someone who's injured at the moment, but I really hope he comes back, but at the moment the injury is like indefinite. I'm going to go with the Viper. Randy oh, it's gonna be one of my Orton. picks. Oh my god. The man god. who hears voices in his head. Another I like, I top think pick. You know what? You know what? You know, in my in my turf, you're gonna be working at my schedule. You're gonna be you're not gonna be wrestling this one match a year crap. That's right, I'm talking to you, Undertaker. You're coming to SmackDown, Undertaker, that's oh. right. <laughs> you oh. choose Randy Orton, I'm gonna choose Undertaker. Gonna Why the hell not? Oh, okay. I know them what I wanted. I wanted as my next choice to be Baron Corbin. Really? Yeah. Interesting choice. I can't think of many others, and I think he was. I think it's fair to say he decimated Dolph Ziggler. Yep. I think that's he did. fair to say. So, fair to say. my one, my next pick. We don't have enough tag teams in here, but I don't want to pick the Vod villains. No. I don't want to pick. You know what else is there? The, the social outcasts. Yeah. So I'm gonna take American Alpha for my next Steve. Okay. Jason Jordan, Chad Gable. Gable is over as hell, uh, and I love them both. And we need some tag team action. American Alpha versus the Club. They could, that could be some good matches there. All right, Tristan, who is your 11th pick? I think it is now. I think it's four, five, six, seven, eight, twelfth pick. Twelfth pick. Twelfth okay. pick. Okay. Okay. So an absolute legend in the business. One of my favorite like iconic wrestlers ever was Rey Mysterio. I, Just I know who you picked the, up. <laughs> The absolute underdog. It's not Rey Mysterio, by the way, he's picking. Yeah. He's just getting on to uh, the Just the absolute underdog, and now they've brought in someone who's very, very similar to him in Kalisto. Like, similar height, similar kind of ability. His, and just, his pick is Kalisto, by the way. Yeah, my pick is Kalisto. <laughs> Twelfth pick. Yes, indeed. Twelfth pick. We mentioned her earlier, uh, and she's put up some amazing matches with already a member of my roster. That is Sasha Banks, and of course, the hugger, NXT's own. Bailey. Don't know why she's not on the main roster yet, because she should be, and she's amazing, and she targets the kids, so obviously we'll get the merch sales there, and she puts on amazing matches, and she's just a great wrestler overall. So Bailey is going to be my 12th pick for SmackDown. Right. I'm going to go with an NXT lad, and someone I've seen not too much of, but I, know I think already. he's already great. Hideo Itami. Oh, Hideo Itami. Did that surprise you? I thought you were going to pick Austin Aries, to be no, honest. No, no, no. I've seen Austin Aries before. I've seen him in like TNA and everything. But from what I've seen of Hideo Itami in NXT, I just think he's been absolutely great. Some of the rivalries yeah. he's had. And although I wouldn't, say, I wouldn't say he's the best like on the mic and speaker, his actual wrestling ability and the technical like ability that he possesses is just like world class. I think he'll fit well into the roster. Another um, NXT guy, and uh, he's going to be joining my roster, and the recently signed Bobby Roode is going to be coming to SmackDown. 
Bobby Roode, he had a great TNA run. He's the longest reigning TNA World Heavyweight Champion of all time. Let's bring some of that success to the WWE with my pick. I might go with a funny one for this one. Okay. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's Tyler Breeze. <laughs> Ooh, actually. Um, <laughs> oh, no, 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 don't think about that. You know what? No. He was great on NXT and it was only the WWE's fault. I'm actually ruined choosing his him. character. I'm going to go with Tyler Breeze. No way. Tyler Breeze. Are you no. choosing Tyler Breeze? Tyler Breeze was great on NXT. <sighs> like, his finisher was, like, decent and everything. I think he's a good technical wrestler. Okay. The actual, like, um, the whole image he goes for, the whole like selfie stick and everything, yeah. is I don't find it the most entertaining, but it's a unique character. Uh, I'm going heavy, very heavy on the women's wrestlers. I've already picked two. I'm gonna be picking another NXT one, Asuka. I'm gonna be joining her Japanese friend Shinsuke Nakamura. Asuka is gonna be the 14th member of my roster. I'm gonna go for someone who's been in the company for quite a few years. He made a massive impact when he first debuted into the company. He's had big rivalries against like Triple H, John Cena, where he even beat like John Cena for the uh, title in a tag, uh, sorry, in a tables match, I believe. I'm gonna oh. go for the person who looks ridiculously stupid, okay. but a yeah. veteran in the company. I'm gonna go for Seamus. 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 Mr. Mohawk. Seamus. Shameless. The man who stars in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Go see it this Friday <laughs> in a theater near you. Yeah. You thought you may have thought that this guy was going to be like unavailable due to him being on well an authority figure, but oh, no. authority figure no more. Triple H is going to be my 15th pick. Indeed. Mm. Bet you forgot about him. <laughs> yeah, he. I was. Oh, I was Triple go H. For him. That is my pick. All right. No, I have to choose. My world champion. My world champion. It's um, it's gonna be AJ Styles. AJ Styles. Why not? AJ Styles. Give him the world title. He's just joined the company. Like have him make a big impact. A good first impression on his first year. Give him the world title. Why not? He can feud with John Cena. He can feud with Roman Reigns, Cesaro, Nakamura, Zayn, Joe, Undertaker, Triple H, even Bobby Roode. He can feud with Bailey for the title if you want him to. Yeah. That is going to be my world title, my, my, the, my world champion, AJ Styles. All right, guys, that is it for this video. Uh, the the teams or the rosters, not the teams, will be in the description. Vote in the comments. Vote for top ten wrestling or for Tristan. And yeah, check out Tristan's channel in the description below. Videos will be up there soon. Hopefully. Make sure to subscribe. And yeah, goodbye and keep on rolling.